Hello, it's your boy Okina again. Today we're going to be going over some replacement joysticks for the original GameCube controller. These joysticks are from ZLabs.com. You don't hear much about ZLabs in the GameCube controller forums, but I'm willing to give them a try. They look pretty high quality. The packaging, much nice, much kawaii, transferring precious cargo. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Very nice, very well taken care of. You can see they have their logo right here, Z Labs, as well as at the top. Is this overpackaged? Hmm. Let's go on and see what's inside. These buttons do look very high quality. Like I said before, much kawaii. They do have a little wax feel at the top, but that should be taken care of after a few games. A lot of people don't know this, but the C-Stick isn't actually one unit. It does have a little separation at the top, or the rubber part. This one also has that waxy feel. That should be taken care of after a few games. They do feel very high quality. Let's go ahead and compare them to the original GameCube controller joysticks. I'm going to go ahead and open up my original GameCube controller and we can make a side by side comparison. We now have the joysticks out. We're not going to be comparing the rubber part on this, of course. It's been worn out after hard smashing. I do have another original GameCube controller that has not opened up yet. You can see, they feel very similar. Let's go and check out the bottom, that's what really matters. Very nice. These are almost JDM AF. A lot of companies don't take into consideration the weight of the joystick and the solidarity. As you can see, they have the same format inside. Let's go and check out the C-Sticks. I can say the same thing about the C-Sticks. They're very well made. Arigato, Zed Labs. Well done. have the same feel at the top as well. As you can see, the original GameCube controller also has that separation at the top. Same thing as the said Labs. Let's go ahead and pop these bad boys in and see how they perform while playing Super Smash. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my customized controller. If you wanna see how this controller is made, please check out some of my other videos. I would really appreciate it, and it does keep the content coming. What you're going to need to open up your controller is a tri-spoke screwdriver. I have a screwdriver set here. You can go ahead and get this at your local hardware store. Should be easy enough to find. Now that we got this controller showing its motherboard, shh, you're beautiful. We can go ahead and take off the joysticks and replace them with the Z Labs. What you're gonna wanna go ahead and look out for when putting the controller sticks on, is there's a little notch at the top, as well as a little notch at the top of this. We're just gonna go ahead and line these up you should be good to go. That motherboard was sexy before, but now I'm not going to be able to keep my hands off her. Aha! Let's go ahead and get this controller put back together. We have the 
whole controller put back together. May I say, your girl got clout. No face, taking a peek. Let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in, see how it performs on Smash. We're gonna go ahead and play a few games and see how the joysticks perform. one game I can already tell that the joystick is too low. I guess the inner chamber goes deeper than the original GameCube joystick. We're gonna go ahead and take the controller back apart and add a piece of foil inside there. We went ahead and got the controller taken back apart. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is add a piece of foil inside the joystick. The chamber does go a little bit deeper on this one. You get a little piece of foil right here. And cut us off a little piece. Not too big. I'm gonna go and stuff it inside. together, we can see if the joystick still rubs against the frame. The controller did just get out of surgery, and we informed the family of the good news. As you can see now, the joystick no longer hits the frame. Just a quick trick for any aftermarket joysticks. Other than the quick hiccup we had, I would give these joysticks a 9 out of 10. Please go ahead and like, follow, and subscribe. It does keep the content coming. Again, this is your boy Okina, always building.